Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're here with Global Rahma Foundation at the Siriri camp in Beka district. This is very close to the Syrian border, it's about one or two kilometers away, and we're about two hours away from Beirut. It's so close to the Syrian border, so it's one of the biggest camps that you find in Lebanon, and the vast majority of refugees here are Syrian refugees. We were, we were speaking to a few, and we got the uh, idea uh, we got the idea that uh, the vast majority of them have come from Damascus, and they've come of their own accord. A lot of them have had to walk themselves to the border to cross over, and, uh, and leaving all their be uh, belongings behind uh, just to escape the atrocities that they're facing there. Uh, we're, so. This is in a very mountainous region. Um, this is about 900 meters above sea level, 900 meters altitude, which is very similar back home to Mount Snowden. So it's very high, and because of that, it's very cold. It's the winter months right now. It's bitterly cold this morning. The sun's out, but it's very, very cold. It's almost freezing, and at night, temperatures go even lower. So. Uh, so the Syrian refugees, they're really, really facing some really real tough hardships right now. So today we've come to provide them with winter aid. We've come to provide them with mattresses, with blankets, with pillows, just so that they can have um, a good night's sleep. These really are some basic necessities that we really take for granted. As well as that, we've also come to provide some uh, food packs for the uh, winter months ahead. These food packs uh, will really come in useful, uh, giving the children nutrition. As you can see, we've got a lot of families here today who have come to uh, uh, get the packs and, uh, inshallah, benefit from them. Um, and, uh, yeah, as you can imagine, a lot of children are here as well, and Ibra is going to talk. Assalamu alaikum. Just to explain some of the problems which are prevalent within the refugee camp. Firstly, the lack of educational establishments. This is a school here, however, it's not an official school. Therefore, many of the children, in fact, all the children are not registered per the government, so funding is restricted. Just to explain the setup of the school. Um, the school accommodates for roughly 500 people, uh, with the Lebanese taking the morning classes and the Syrian refugees taking the afternoon classes. Swiftly moving on to the uh, healthcare, um, some children are handicapped, others are suffer from terminal illnesses. However, many children go uh, untreated due to the lack of work opportunities, so many families are not uh, afford the treatment. Today we are here in the valley of Bika. And, uh, as uh, maybe you have seen, is a lot of uh, refugees are here, and they are all from uh, Syria. I go. Yeah, if the weather is very challenging. It's a minus uh, cold here, and uh, today we are going to provide them the food, the blanket, uh, pillows, uh, just the main necessity at this moment. The need obviously is not enough. But uh, still, inshallah, with the help of your sister from UK and also with the help of Global Rahma, Global Rahma is, alhamdulillah, doing is a very good job. Uh, all the staff is very sincere and very hardworking. Uh, may Allah accept their effort as well as uh, all the people who donated it. And uh, I will give the message to all my viewers and all my listeners as we are in so in our own comfort zone and we are enjoying ourselves in this weather but imagine that our brother and sister in here they need our help they need our help and is the most request is if everybody sponsor a family or a child that that will be the most important for all of us as the prophet peace be upon him says if you look after one orphan you will be with me in jannah inshallah and this is the reward uh, here may allah give you a lot of barakah in your wealth jazakumullahu khairan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh